Hi, I'm Shanna Roberts here at Southern Lee High School. Today, I want to tell you all about the Adobe Academy program. The Adobe Academy has four classes. The one we're going to learn about today is Adobe Visual Design 1. In that class, we learn Photoshop and Illustrator. That's the prerequisite to take the next level, Adobe Visual Design 2, which uses InDesign. Students can then choose either Adobe Video Design 1 or Adobe Digital Design 1. Students don't have to commit to taking all three or four of the courses. So Adobe Visual Design 1 is split even between Photoshop and Illustrator. We spend 45 days in Photoshop and 45 days in Illustrator. And again, you have to pass that class before you can take the exciting Adobe Visual Design 2 with InDesign. The Adobe Certification Exam counts as the final exam for this course. So in this class, we don't take multiple choice tests. We don't have bubble sheets. We don't have worksheets with lots of vocabulary words. 100% of the time is spent strictly on Adobe. And the certification exam is the exact same that every professional uses in their coursework. So Photoshop is designed for professional graphic designers. It's not like a Google Doc or Google Sheets where it's super easy to use and anybody can just jump in and figure it out. And um, that's why Photoshop skills are so hard to come by because they take a lot of time and effort to master. So this is the Photoshop interface. So as you can see, we have a lot of tools on the left, a lot of options on the right. We have toolbars at the top and none of those have their names on there. So students are going to have to commit to memorizing all of the panels as well as all the tools. So what can you do with all of these skills? Well, when I need some energy, I can pull up one of those super drinks there. You can also work with gradient photo filters. One of my favorites is double exposure to see what kids are really thinking in their heads. Photoshop has over 30 different filters. When possible, students can use some of their own photos in their designs, and that makes it a little bit more unique and personal. Here is select colorization, where the image is converted completely to black and white, and then just parts of the color are shown through, making it select colorization. Here's another example of the Photoshop interface and with the layers panel shown. So in this example, students are going to have to work with layer mask, adjust the fashion layers, add layer styles, vector mask, and also be able to sort those as well. Here's another example of the layers pattern. This shows that there are two strokes in an outer glow on every image from London. And it takes a lot of patience and attention to detail to make sure that every one of the images are the exact same size. We have equal spacing vertically and horizontally. And we also spend time finding the exact right font to use for the design. Here are some of the examples from students. And as you can see, they all are a little bit different, but they do all have the same formatting skills. So students do have some leadway in their designs. Here students use text wrap. Instead of just having the text in a plain old square or a circle, we let the text actually wrap around the image for a higher visual interest. One of the coolest features in Photoshop is being able to replace part of the image. So what happened to the group in the Jeeps? Do we need to send out a search party for them? because all of a sudden they have disappeared from that image. The clipping mask is one of my favorites. Here I've used two of the photos I've taken and the clipping mask will show through only select parts, making the letters be able to be visible behind the image. Here's some low poly work. These took about three days to complete and those take a lot of time. Here we can make seamless marketing materials, and here we have added text behind the image, as well as a custom border and formatting the text to duplicate the design. 
And another student favorite is the Andy Warhol self-portraits. So Cavaliers can't be camera shy because we use a lot of their own photographs in these designs. So after we finish with Photoshop, we then spend another 45 days in Adobe Illustrator. Sorry, there's a misspelling there. Um, but we do work with um, clip art and vector graphics. Here's an example of the Illustrator interface. It's quite a bit different than Photoshop, but some of the elements are similar. Students love when we do these sugar skulls. For this design, we actually use live paint in Adobe Illustrator to make these great, unique designs. Here's an example of the patients. You might see a potted plant, think it looks great. But actually, that's 12 different lines. Every line had to have the stroke weight changed, change the brush profile, change the color to a gradient, change the gradient to a dark green and light green, and finally add a second stroke inside the leaf. And we had to do that 12 times as well as create a pot and some dirt and layer the leaves so it looks like they're actually planted behind the potted plant. Here students created their own custom pattern, as well as using color harmony in the color wheel to make coordinating slides for all, excuse me, to make coordinating sails for all of their ships. One of the neat things we do have in class is we do have Wacom tablets for every two students to use, so we do have to do some sharing, but that can make drawing a lot easier instead of trying to draw with a mouse. Here, each name has been altered to make a unique graphic design. Shanna used the Formula One McLaren of Daniel Ricardo and filled in the rest of the letters with a custom papaya and blue checkered print. Another favorite is designing from scratch a unique hot chocolate or coffee drink. I don't know about you, but the new Cottontail Cotton Candy Cocoa looks really delicious. My love of pelicans can be seen in several examples. Here we created an icon sized images and also added curved text. I can show students how to use the software, but I can't teach creativity or design innovations. Students have to have that spark and really want to be in the class to be able to spend 45 minutes every day, excuse me, 90 minutes, five days a week, working strictly in Photoshop and Illustrator. So remember that Adobe Visual Design is for graphic-minded students. Um, it's not necessarily for students who love to play on the computer or just because you like Instagram. This class is for students who really want to look at being a graphic artist, a photographer, a social media influencer, a marketing manager, or even a product development specialist. Attendance is very important. If a student misses two days of class, they will have three hours of missing work to complete outside of their regular class. Because class is 90 minutes, if students are absent even for one or two days, that has a lot of extra work that has to be caught up. I'm an avid photographer. Here are a couple of the photos I've taken at the beach. And I do encourage students to take their own photos as much as possible, um, especially in our photography unit and learn how to look at life from behind the lens. A great way to see kind of how I teach and how the class works is to look at my YouTube channel. I post videos on every assignment for students to review before they come to class, and this will give you an excellent view into the skills students will be using. If students are interested, they can purchase Photoshop subscriptions for $10 a month or access to all 20 products for $20 a month if they want access at home. However, the Adobe software does not work on Chromebooks, okay? And these subscriptions are for 12 months. So as I mentioned before, the Adobe certification exam counts as a final exam. Students need a 700 or higher in order to be an Adobe certified professional. And again, this is the exact same software, the exact same test that visual design experts use every day in their work. So I hope this gives you a little format as to Adobe Visual Design 1. Again, I'm Ms. Shanna Roberts. I have a business degree from Auburn as well as a Master's of Business Administration. I was Southern Lease Teacher of the Year in 2021, and I've been a Lee County Schools teacher 
in the CTE department for 19 years. So here is my email address if you have any questions. And here is my YouTube channel. And make sure you know that there is a C with the slashes in there. Thank you so much. And I wish you great luck in your success here at Southern Lee High School.